What's up, man? It's your boy KO. America's Team 86 TV. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to collaborate and you a Dallas Cowboys content creator out there, or if you a creator from a rival team and you want to do some sort of collaboration, hit me up on my email, knockoutboxing86 at gmail.com. But let's get to the video, though. So I was reading um, some research because a lot of the Dallas Cowboys brass, guys like Will McClay, they're down there at the Senior Bowl. And Will McClay did an interview, and he said some very interesting things that we want to talk about. He just kind of talked about what he's looking for, what's important to grading players, and how he's going to try to make the team better. Two key areas of focus, which I think Will McClay has always done a great job of. Well, one of them he's done a great job. We're going to see what he do with this one in the off season. And that is offensive line. He said offensive line is definitely gonna be a focus for them. And you can see why. I mean, Tyler Smith hit a home run on him. Tyron Smith, our left tackle. Obviously he's getting older. When he plays, he's a beast. But Tyron Smith, injury prone. You can always count on him to be missing games. And it's time to find his successor, man. So I understand that. Terrence still had a horrible year, bro. Absolutely horrible year, Terrence Steele. Did not play well. Was getting beat. Looks like he regressed since getting his money. Biotis is okay at center. And Zach Martin is always Zach Martin. But even he is getting a little older. So it's time to start getting some young some young bulls in there that can maybe take the reins when Zach Martin's ready to move on. When Tyron Smith is ready to move on. Obviously, Zach Martin's still all pro every year. Look like he got at least... Four more, four more years in him, you know, if he remain healthy. But still, you got to always be ready. And that's what Will McClay was talking about. And offensive line is the most important thing. Specifically when you got a quarterback like Dak Prescott that need everything perfect around him to function, bro. Tyron Smith go down, Dak Prescott going to have a bad game. Zach Martin ain't in the game. The offense going be, gonna, gonna, gonna to be less of itself because Dak Prescott ain't that type of quarterback that can lift you up. When you need them to, everything got to be right around them. So knowing that, Will McClay does need to start looking at offensive line. One thing he said about is the young players developing. One one young player I'm, I'm interested in specifically that will show whether or not we hit on last year's draft because Mozzie Smith, he got to develop, bro, on that defensive line, that defensive tackle. He had a – his year was poo-poo, bro, poo cheese. He didn't flash at all. Did Mozzie Smith tackle somebody, bro? I read a stat somewhere. He had, like, less tackles than the games he played in, bro. You just can't – you can't have that, bro. You're a first-round pick, bro. You're a first-round pick, and I understand it takes players' time to develop. But first-round picks are supposed to be impact players. The moment that they step on the field, bro, they're supposed to be able – you're supposed to be able to see, oh, well, that's why he was one of the first 32 taken. And you ain't see none of that from Mozzie Smith. It wasn't it wasn't one play this year where you looked at Mozzie Smith and you was like, yo, that's why they took him in the first round, cuz. You see him shed both of those dudes at the same time and make that tackle right there at the line of scrimmage or in the backfield, you ain't see none of that shit. So he definitely got to develop. But the main thing I want to see from my draft class last year, our linebacker Overshone, they got hurt. He looked, like, he, he looked good in Texas, bro, because I'm a UT fan. I'm out there in Texas, in case y'all ain't know, bro. I don't know if you can tell by the accent or not, but I'm a huge University of Texas Longhorns fan, bro. And Overshawn was like that. Overshawn was like that at UT. So he coming off an injury. If he come and he make an impact and we draft the linebacker spot well, then we'll be all right. Then that's the other thing Will McClay talked about is the need at linebacker and trying to get better at every position. But you can just tell – what his key areas of emphasis is going to be in this draft. He looking to make sure our line stays stout and we're able to deal with injuries better. Probably really looking for somebody to get, get Terrence Steele up out of here, bro. Some young, hungry right tackle, you know what I'm saying, that's going to come in and replace Terrence Steele, who had a subpar year. And you can tell he's looking to clean that linebacking room up. Secondary, we straight. We're getting the number one draft pick all pro returning in Trayvon Diggs. And I got no question that Trayvon Diggs, the dog that he is, 
the type of stuff that he made of, how hungry he is, bro. I got no, I got no question that he gonna come back and be himself and be even better. It may take a while, but Trayvon ain't nothing to play with, bro. He gonna be all right. I got faith in him. So we getting him back. So you got Trayvon Diggs, Deron Bland. We need to bring Stephon Gilmore back. J. Ron Curse, Maurice Hooker. We straight. We straight, bro. We we are straight in the secondary. Defensive line rotation of Diggy Zua, obviously Michael Parsons, D Law. We good. We good. Mozzie Smith needs to develop, but we need to be interior drafting all year long. And it sounds like that's what Will McClay is on. We need linebackers up the middle. We need better better interior defensive linemen that are bigger and stout and can actually shed blocks and make tackles and things like that. And we got to clean up our offensive line, bro. Jalen Brooks, the receiver, showed some promise this year. He was one of our draft picks. We'll see what he do this year. Um, but somebody got to step in that role for Gallup. Obviously, we'll see if we can get Brandon Cooks and keep him. You know, I don't know how many years he got left on his contract, but hopefully we can keep Brandon Cooks in the fold. We able to keep Brandon Cooks. Somebody got to get Michael Gallup the hell, Michael Gallup the hell up out of here. We got Jalen. Uh, we got Jalen Tolbert. I think the kid's name is Jalen Brown, number eighty-three. Yeah, Thomas Thomas Brown. Y'all, y'all, let me know who he is in the comment section, bro. But that's gonna be the keys for us, man. Getting some good offensive linemen because our, our our stalwarts are getting older, and our right tackle was a swing gate this year. And making sure that we get some good linebackers, bro. And and Overshawn is going to be the X factor, in my opinion, for our defense. If Overshawn can look like the playmaker in the in the stud that he was in the University of Texas, and he can be okay after spending a whole year learning the system, a whole year watching, you know, Dan Quinn call the defense, rehabbing, getting strong, getting ready. If he can come back. And Trayvon Diggs can come back, and we draft good at the linebacker position. Our defense can be scary, bro. Our defense can be scary. And then you get Micah to get his head on straight. We'll be straight on defense. Offense, that line and, and, and C.D. Lamb, another X-factor receiver, bro. I think you need two of them. You need somebody that people are scared of other than C.D. Lamb. Brandon Cooks didn't do a bad job. He didn't do a bad job. But we need somebody that's young and extra talented. To people like, oh, shit. And receivers, you can find them, bro. You can find them. They ain't all in the first round, bro. You can find you something in that draft. So, really like what Will McClay had to say, man. I like what he had to say, but Will McClay is one of the best at his job. Somebody trying to get him to leave Dallas every single year, bro. Every year they're trying to get Will McClay up out of town. And to be honest with you, he seems like he the one that's keeping this thing together. He's every bit as responsible for for the 12 win seasons, three seasons in a row, as Mike McCarthy or any player on the team, cause he picking the talent. He doing he the one at the senior bowl doing the work. He he leading the scouting department. And there's a reason that multiple NFL teams keep trying to get him over there. Because I'm telling you, organizations be like, if we get him in there with the talent that he able to find, shit, we can win a Super Bowl. It's probably one team, one team that wouldn't trade their roster for ours, bro. If you, just, if you just did a trade right now, overall roster, it's like one team, well, two teams, I say. Two teams. And that's Patrick Mahomes, because no matter what the roster is, ain't nobody trading not one quarterback for Patrick Mahomes. So the Chiefs, they going to keep their roster because they ain't trading Patrick Mahomes for Dak. The 49ers, too. Everybody else will flip with us in a heartbeat, bro. In a heartbeat, bro. In a heartbeat. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel. I'll see y'all soon. Peace out.